friends. How are y'all? Let me get this. I just was playing around with everything, so I messed up the way I had it set up. So, fix this. There you go. I think that will do for right now, at least. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, does it? I guess so. Yeah, so. Okay, so here we are. The, um, I guess, first, like, real... Facebook Live since, um, you know, we came back after the new year. Last year was just kind of, you know, a, you know, sit down and chat kind of thing because we had just gotten back from our little vacation. So, now let's get back in the swing of things. I'm going to go ahead and apologize. I am getting over a cold, so if I sound all like nasally and phlegmy, apologize, but it is what it is. Um, this is the first time I've been sick in a long time and it knocked me out. Like, I didn't, I couldn't remember how to be sick. It was really weird. Yeah. I'm just thankful it wasn't the flu, you know, knock on wood. Yeah, it wasn't the flu. <laughs> so, um, anyway, we got a fun night, an easy night, um, getting back into everything. Um, we're going to do a coconut snowball martini and we are going to make some facial cleansing wipes that are all natural and totally awesome for your face. So much better than the store-bought things that you can, um, you know, you can buy. In fact, um, I was quite surprised when I was looking into it a little bit um, earlier today. And I'll share that with you here in a bit. But my goal, because about a month ago I got into the habit of talking a whole lot and um, going into like 40 minutes. So, my goal is to keep it to the 30 minutes or less, I guess. So, anyway, that's it. Um, so, I guess first up, we're going to make our little coconut snowball martini. Shake it with ice, of course. You need rum, vodka, blue, curacao, how do you say that? Cur cur curacao? Is that how do you say that word? I ask y'all every time, curacao, cow, whatever, the blue stuff. You need rum, vodka, the blue stuff, and then, <sighs> this is new to me, and I'm a bit hesitant because um, it's new, and I opened it up a minute ago, and it didn't look that appealing, but you never know. You need cream of coconut. This is the cream of coconut that um, I found over in the drink mixes. I did not go and look, you know, like with the juice mixes and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if this is what I'm supposed to use or not. I just know that when I opened it up, it was not very appealing. <laughs> so anyway, shaker of ice, you need, um, and I've got like notes all over the place, so pardon me. You need two parts vodka, which I change brands quite often. And since moving here, now before I moved here, my favorite brand, I just always went with Smirnoff Vodka. When I moved here, I came across the 360 Vodka brand. They are awesome. I love them so much more than Smirnoff. I'm scared that when we move again, um, I will not be able to find them. I love them a lot. They are super awesome. And um, what's better is they recycle their bottles, or they make their bottles out of recycled bottles. And then if you can't, and then you can send their um, caps back to them that are made of. Um, it's got this metal spring and then a cork. You can mail it back to them, and they will recycle those for you. So. Um, I really hope that I can find the 360 brand when I go back. Okay, right, two parts um, rum, which I don't drink a whole lot of rum, and in all honesty, me getting over a cold, I probably shouldn't be drinking anything, but um, it's just gonna be this one, believe me. Um, you need half a part, so two parts vodka, two parts rum, half a part blue curacao, and then the white stuff. <laughs> the white stuff, that sounds lovely. The white stuff, and it does not look that appealing either. Um, you need two parts of this white stuff. 
Yep. Oh, it does pour easily. Good. Very good. Yeah. It's not very pretty, is it? All right. So you need two parts of that. That's your cream of coconut. This is a coconut snowball martini. And let me move that out of the way. I'm going to move all this out of the way. Because i got stuff everywhere. All right. You need to then, of course, put the lid on and give it a good shake. And I'm going to have to wipe. Ooh, see? Mm, this is what I have problems with. Yep. Give it a good shake. Of course, all that white stuff you know has got to get mixed in. You know, coconut. I mean, it's got a name. Yeah. Okay, and of course, y'all know I'm not about all that fuss and frills mess, but you can um, dip the glass into water and rim it with coconut. So let me, because that cream of coconut is quite sticky. So, because um, I mean, I tasted it earlier and it tastes like just like coconut sugar. I mean, yeah, so anyway. I had to do that because it would be bothering me later. So, okay, so let's try this, see how this is. It's not bad. A little bit less vodka, a little bit less rum. Yeah. A little bit less rum, actually, I think. Now that it's, yeah, that aftertaste, a little bit less rum. But it's good. It's a good one. Okay, so, all right, tonight we are making some do-it-yourself facial wipes. I don't know if you realize it, but you're only supposed to wash your face like once a day. Because your face, I mean, your skin makes these natural oils that help, you know, preserve it and keep it moisturized. If you wash your face too much, you're stripping your face of those natural oils. So, when I lived in Alabama, it was something I had never done before, but at the same time, I became an adult in Alabama, so... Makes sense. Um, the humidity just sticks to you. So on my lunch breaks, I would um, keep these facial wipes in my car or in my purse. And on my lunch breaks, I would sit in my car and pretty much give myself a bath. I would like take these and just like wipe my face down. And they're for your face. But I, I did. I would just wipe myself down because the humidity was gross. It made me feel gross. And I needed to like take a little miniature bath on my lunch break. Well... I have been in essential oils for, you know, over three years now, and I start actually looking at the ingredients that are in a bunch of our products, and surprisingly, I, when I counted them up earlier today, there is 24 ingredients in this package, so every single um, wipe that you're pulling out, there's 24 ingredients that are going on your face. Not all of them are harmful, of course. But, a bunch of them are, which means you're getting hormonal disruptions, is possibly causing um, respiratory issues. I mean, there's just tons of things that come from the chemicals that are inside our products. So, and I've been, and actually, I had this pack with me just for our vacation, because, yeah, it was just a whole lot easier to take this for vacation. But, typically, I make my own. And it's super, super easy. I mean, and it's so much cheaper. It's so much better for you. Your skin will love you for it. And you can kind of change it up for what you need. Um, only thing you need is a big old glass, well, depending on how many you want to make, a glass container, essential oils, and styrofoam. Essential oils and plastic do not do well together. Um, essential oils try to break down toxins. What is pla um, plastic made out of? toxins. So um, if you put essential oils in plastic, it's going to start trying to break those down, which means if you were to take wipes out and put it on your face, basically you're getting those toxins from the plastic and you're putting them on your face. So last jar, you need um, a carrier oil. I'm going to tell you more about it in a minute. I always choose grapeseed. You need Castile soap. I'll tell you more about that in a second. And you need witch hazel. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need. Besides, you know, pick your wipes of choice. You can get, um, I just got these like circular ones 
from Target. You can get the ones that exfoliate, whatever. Um, whatever kind of wipes you want. That's all you need besides I do have distilled water over here. And by distilled, I mean I took water out of my faucet and I boiled it for a couple minutes. And there you go. So, okay, let me tell you real quick. Um, let me tell you about the witch hazel. Castile soap. Every home needs it. You can use it for so much. It is one of your best cleaners. If you are using a store-bought cleaner for like your tubs, you'd be surprised how much cleaner your tubs get when you combine, you know, just spray this, you know, pour this all over your tubs and then wipe it down. Castile soap is super concentrated, super strong, and you only need a tiny bit whenever you use it. Um, but you can use it for your hand soap, your face wash, um, a multi-purpose um, cleaner, um, your dish soap, your laundry soap, a veggie wash. Castile soap seriously needs to be in your home. If you do not have it, get it. I usually buy, this is the Baby Unscented, but they have tea tree, they've got rose, they've got lavender, they've got peppermint. All of them are super awesome. Those are just scented with, um, of course, natural soap. All natural cleaner right there. And then I choose grapeseed oil because it is the best for me and um, it's kind of the overall best for me. If you look online for um, what oils you want to use um, or what carrier oils, carrier oils are basically something that you mix to help carry other ingredients you know, across your body or across, you know, a surface. So, um, and that's olive oil, that's um, hazelnut oil, that's apricot, um, jojoba, coconut, argan, olive, V6, sunflower. All of these are um, carrier oils. And if you look online, you can do a Google search yourself. I just found this graphic real quick. You can find carrier oils that are best for your skin type. You can find... Um, let me see, I remember. Ones that um, absorb really quickly, ones that take a little bit more time. And surprisingly, not all, all oils work the same. You wanna look at this, not, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say this word, comedogenic, comedogenic rating. That is basically the, um, how likely they are to clog your pores. So if you've got like acne prone skin, you don't want something that is rated a five, which is basically more likely to clog your pores. You pores. You want to find something that is like a zero or a one. So um, the bet. I mean, if you look online, like I said, you can find all this information. Um, castor oil is one. Um, zeros, hemp seed oil, safflower oil, shea butter, sunflower oil. Those are the best for your skin. I always choose grapeseed oil as a two. Um, I do have acne prone skin and I've got that horrible, you know, T-zone where it's like super, super, super dry all the way here, but then it's really, really oily like right here. It's horrible. So I always choose grapeseed. It's just like the good general one for me. So look online for carrier oils if you want more information, information on that and um, carrier oils for your skin and you can find loads of information regarding that. Okay, so like I said, whew, yeah, more out of breath. Here we go. Okay, I've got, get all my supplies out here. This is why I, I this is weird. I took a before picture a minute ago. This after picture is gonna be, I'm sure, funny. Okay, before you get started, you want to take, now okay, facial cleansing wipes. I use them, like I said, you only probably want to wash your face once a day. I do that first in the morning. I do that in the morning. So in the evening, of course, you want to do something to your skin to, you know, freshen it up and get all of the um, crud from the day off. You um, can use these. I use these a lot to um, freshen my skin in the middle of the day. These are great for removing makeup or like I said, just freshening the skin. What you're going to do is you're just going to stuff them, you're going to stuff a layer in the bottom of your jar. Oops. 
stuff away at the bottom of your jar. Don't do it too tightly because in a minute when you pour your mixture in, you're going to want to um, have room for the mixture to go. So, right now we've got all, I stuffed all those little pads into my jar. Hey, right, now I do have, I took this picture and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double up the recipe because um, I'm going to put double the amount of wipes in here. Specifics aren't necessary here. I do have a recipe here that calls for the specifics, but it is not required. So you add a tiny bit more, it's okay, it's fine. It's not one of the things that's specific. All right, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need three fourths cup of distilled water. Like I said, I took this water out of my tap and I boiled it. I'm doubling it, so I'm, that's three fourths. Now this is three fourths. Okay. Then you're gonna need one half cup of witch hazel. Witch hazel is incredible for the skin. Like I said, doubling it. So I'm doing a full cup. Then you need um, one tablespoon of the carrier oil of your choice. I chose grapeseed. This is to um, basically moisturize your skin. It won't dry it out. Because, like I said, um, Castile soap is super, super concentrated. To me, it is super, super drying. So you need that um, carrier oil to um, you kind of even it out, balance it out. Okay, and then you need one tablespoon of Castile soap. Now, when I said that you can kind of customize this, I've done it before where I've added a whole lot more, I don't have any kind of measurement, of Castile soap, and I use them as actual, like, face wash pads, because if you use a little bit more of the um, Castile soap, it'll foam up, and you can use that to wash your face. Awesome. All right, so that is pretty much all you need to make your facial wipes. Now, because I'm all about the essential oils, I'm going to throw some essential oils in there because I need every little bit of help I can get. Now, essential oils that are wonderful for your skin, frankincense, ylang ylang, patchouli, tea tree, rose, cedarwood, carrot seed, those are all wonderful, but the best oils that you could add for your skin is geranium and lavender. Of course, it's my personal opinion, but if you look online, geranium and lavender are like huge powerhouses for the skin. So, yes, I could sit here and tell you, you know, add five drops of this, do six drops of this, or whatever. Your preference. I'm just dumping a whole bunch of drops in there. Because like I said, I'm doubling it up, and, um, I'm just going to pour it all in there here in a minute. So I've got, I just did tea tree. I've got frankincense. I have geranium. And I have lavender. If you guys ever want to know more about these oils, I can hook you up. They are a life changer. I told you how I was doing this whole cold thing this past um, week. Um, these oils like saved my butt. So give it a good mix. I'm using a whisk. Now your oils are always going to try and go to the top because oil and water don't mix. So keep it good and stirred up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now pour it on top of my mixture or my um pads. There's that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some more in there. Seriously, I mean, I know at least the women in the South know how you need that, you know, freshening up in the middle of the day. But even if you just need help with removing makeup, these are like such awesome, you know, things to you know have on hand. You just pour it in there. And like I said, 
I doubled up the recipe that way so um, I would have enough to put in as much as I did. Of course, you're welcome to you know, add more. It's not like it's a recipe that it has to be um, you know, specifics when it comes to measurements. You can add a little bit more water, stretch it further. You can if you want. But that's it. Like I said, store it in a um, glass jar. You may want to push your um, pads into the um, mixture some. That way so they stop it all up. And that's it. You're done. See? Super, super simple. And now you can place that on your bathroom counter and you have something that you can reach for at the end of the day. And it will um, freshen your face up. It will remove makeup. It will um, help with... Um, your skin tone, it will help with blemishes. It is an incredible, incredible, incredible tool to have on hand. So, no chemicals, can't beat it. So, um, there you go, super simple. Let me look at my notes here. Um, I talk too much. Yeah, I had planned to do um, sugar scrub bars tonight as well, but um, I talk too much. So I'm gonna plan it for another night. I'm sure you don't mind. And it makes planning nights a whole lot easier. Speaking of that, if you guys have any ideas, please send them my way. I want to do stuff that you guys want to see. So if you see a pin that looks interesting on Pinterest, or um, if there's something that specifically you need, like organization or cooking or whatever, let me know. I can surely um, plan a Monday for it. Um, let's see. Yep, less ingredients. Like I said, there were 24 ingredients in this. This was one, two, three, three ingredients plus water. So four ingredients, all essential oils, which you, like I said, you don't have to do. Five ingredients. The less ingredients, the better it is for you, as with food, with everything. Um, do, 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 um, do, 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 let's see. Best carrier oil for your skin, whether it's acne, dry aging, oiliness, elasticity, scars. Um, yeah. I guess I covered it all. All my notes are good. Very good. So, okay, next week, um, because it's the new year, I did this basically because if some of you guys are interested in, you know, giving chemicals the boot and swapping out some of the stuff that you already have in the home, um, there's a reason why I did this. So next week, next Monday, I'm going to show you guys a couple of um, natural cleaners that you guys, a couple of do-it-yourself cleaners that you can make for your home. And we're going to discuss um, a few other recipes that you could make that will um, swap out some of that store-bought stuff that you got that's possibly um, harming yourself and your family. So, there you go. And even though it's not technically a mar martini, I'm going to put it in a martini glass because I can. The White Russian. We're going to make a White Russian. It's not a White Russian martini. I'm going to stick it in a martini glass, and I'm going to call it a white Russian martini. It's not a martini, though. So, there you go. Well, that being said, I hope you guys check out Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. Like them all. Share them with your friends. Send me some notes, some messages. Let me know what you want to see. And I will look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.